Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, again, thanks to Transylvania Recordings, we have some death metal to go over. Terra Toma with Purulent Manifestations. Yo, if you haven't heard this yet, come on. This is another one that is just awesome. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. Just some nasty death metal. Can't really go wrong with it. It's just like sick. You know, there's no like straight up incantation worship. It's just, you know, some nasty, heavy death metal. And I love it. Like, I knew about this before getting it. So I kind of, like, knew to expect something good. Yeah. Guitar work, fantastic. The production is great. But, like, Detached From Existence... I really like that song a lot. Hard Stench. Every song on here is great. There's six total. So again, is it an EP? Is it a demo? I, I don't know. I would call this an EP based on just how good it sounds. But that's just my personal opinion. And recorded in some basements in Berlin. Pretty sure they're not talking about Berlin, New Jersey. Pretty sure Berlin, Germany. Just based on this architecture in the background. But, uh, also, um, could have swore I saw somebody's last name and I was like, oh, like that sounds German. But I, I don't remember off the top of my head, so I apologize. But, uh, yeah, for like, you know, a basement recording, as this says, recorded in, unless that's the name of the, of the studio, some basements, because, you know, it is what it, there's all sorts of weird studio names, like, the studio we have down my basement has two names, depends what project is working down there. If it's Frog Mist, it's the sewer of sub- Sewer Seidel Studios. If it's a cursed womb, it's a completely different location. That's the Milmont Mausoleum. Otherwise, I, I'm pretty sure they got it right on uh, both versions of our, well, our demo compilation and the um, EP. I'm pretty sure it's on, it's on the cassette version. It says, like, recorded at Milmont Mausoleum. Um, what's, I'm sorry. I know this is, has nothing to do with this. I'm just, yeah, recorded in the Milmont Mausoleum in the basement of Desolation. Like, that's just my basement. But, yeah. Sometimes it's fun to come up with names like that. But uh, I'm pretty sure this was just legitimately recorded across some, you know, set up studio basements throughout Berlin. But like the drum sound, great. Everything about this is great. Like I, I have nothing really negative, like nothing at all, honestly, negative to say about Teratoma purulent manifestations it's just kind of exactly you know like i said that cover speaks for itself you're getting some gross heavy death metal second sick Awesome. 
I miss headbag. You get that vomit monster and the other dude, which are combined into a uh, like sentient, you know, pile of slop, which you can't go wrong with, in my opinion. Like, I know I mentioned yesterday, like how I was so stoked that this was kind of the opposite, like of just like having, you know, a monster or like a pile of like vines or something like don't again i love motor i love that cover and i love little monsters that you know end up like just kind of not being a band's logo but like to me like whenever i think of fetid although i love the ribcage art that extremely rotten used for that edition of Sentient Pile. You, whenever I think of Fetid, that is the first image my brain goes to. And here's something neat about the um, vinyl edition of this. Aside from having to wait almost a year for it, you get an extra piece of art, which I think is cool. This was supposed to be blue, but hey, it's whatever. It plays the demo, and that's all I care about. But, um, yeah. I really love this cassette tape. I kind of hope this band does more with this monster right here. Like, I would keep using it. If it was my band, and, like, I we had like an image like that like the way coffin rot for example like i love this design like from the the first demo of like all the skulls like puking out each other to where they're kind of you know like i said like it's a sentient pile of rot and i think that's just an interesting image and i know like i said it's, it's kind of it's nothing new, like, it's been kind of beat to the ground, but I think it works and looks amazing. Like, again, you know, when it comes to demos, and I was talking about this to a friend of mine, I really do wish that, like, Mortiferum would have continued down the altar of Decay route, but it is what it is. You know, because Mortiferum do like the incantation worship like very well, so you know, whatever. But uh, Teratoma sound like Teratoma pretty much. This is like I said, just some pretty straightforward, gross killer death metal. It's good, six tracks. And like I said, just, I love a white cover and just, you know, something gross and simple on it. It's, or a black cover with something gross and simple on it. Or gross and extremely complicated. Like, I'm trying to look for a good example, like, right within my, uh, you know, feet and whatnot. And I'm trying to find the tour edition of... Oh, it's right here. I'm sorry. Here. Mortiferum's Altar of Decay tour edition also for... I love that art of that, like, skeleton. It's badass. And again, it just matches, like, the music and stuff, in my personal opinion. But, yeah, I could go on all day about how much I like, you know, little 
sentient piles of glock when it comes to cover art and whatnot, but this is a really, really good one. Um, let's see who did the illustrations. Sorry. Uh, logo by Danny. Uh, come on, who did the cover? Sorry, folks. Oh, cover artwork by Yaddy Man. Sick. I don't know who that is, and I'm sorry if I messed your name up. Y A N D E M A N. Yadaman? Yeah, Yadaman, I think it is. Cover artwork by Yadaman, and the logo by Danny. And Danny's the vocalist. Awesome logo. Again, just keeping it simple and sick. Really like the lyrics also. They're well written. Gross. And again, straight to the point. You know what you're getting into. It's fucking death metal. Tortured voices, detached from existence, Nero, horrid stench, Oceum Inferni, and corporal mess. So, like, the fetid demo, a sentient pile of anamorphous rot was led into fetid, steeping corporal mess. So, a little, I don't know if it's a little just, you know, coincidence or nod to fetid, but whatever. It's sick. It's worth your time. Definitely check out Teratoma. And you'll definitely enjoy purulent manifestations because it's, you know, exactly the type of death metal that cover shows you. Like, I again, is it an EP or is it a demo? Like, obviously, Necropsy Odor, Tales from the Tepid Cavity, in my opinion, is 100% a demo. This is kind of like an EP, but not really. Like I said, six songs, but at the same thing, it's just the perfect amount of time. Program repeats itself on both sides. Definitely, if you don't own this, and I know right now ERP has like seven inch and stuff, I would make some moves if you have some spare money, to try and get any copy of Necropsy Odor, Tales from the Tepid Cavity, that you can. I have the 625 Thrash Head Split Edition, and I'm grateful for it. I love it. Listen to it all the time. It's one of my favorite demos in recent history. Like, yeah. I love it. But... Teratoma with uh, Purulent Manifestations, great title also, and yeah, just some sickening death metal for fans of death metal on Transylvanian recordings. Thank you to James for making today's video possible. I know I'm <laughs> dressed in all red, but Sheep's Head Bay Cult. You can get these beanies on their website. I love Sheep's Head Bay Cult. Like, I really do. Like, I rock their clothing all the time. It's just one of those companies. Like, I just... I enjoy their clothing. They're not only comfortable. I like the designs. And they're just sick. Super, you know, evil and... Right up my alley. I dig it. But, uh, yeah, I just felt like dressing all blooded out today. Why not? But, yeah. Fuck it. Listen to Teratoma, Purulent Manifestation, Purulent Manifestations. I'm sorry. And enjoy this shit. This is seriously death metal written. For you true fans of death metal that don't care about, you know, 
fancy sunglasses and nonsense. Like, they just keep it straight up death. And I like that. So, hails again to Transylvania Recordings for just keeping it real. And keeping it fucking sick. Like, dude, the ceremonial decay is gnarly. Like, I'm very, there's a couple releases I'm very stoked to go over. And I need to get this ready. Uh, this is a verminosis release that I've been uh, waiting for. Same, we're gonna be going over Epitaph 2 also. So, you, you can chill with those, you know, messages. I'm going over it. But I'm gonna be listening to some Church of Disgust in a little bit. And we're gonna be going over this uh, split right here. Because it is absolutely ridiculous. Sure, it's probably sold out by now, though. Limited to 60 copies. I have number 35. So, yeah, this is a gnarly one, though. And I should have went over it a little bit earlier. But it's so sick. And I love how they did this. Like, this record label. Like, just, like, used kind of... It's just badass. Screaming Skull Records. And I think, well, Verminosis sent this over, so I think they might have done, like, a 7-inch version. Not entirely sure, but, um, yeah, this is something I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it. Like, it, it's on my list for hopefully this week. Same with, like, Exoplasma. There's a bunch of stuff that I should have gone over that, you know, I've just been slacking on. And I'm going to put the Necropsia Odor demo on. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Thank you, James at Transylvania Recordings. And definitely go check out Teratoma. Links will be in the video description. Because Purulent Manifestations, like I said, if you're a fan of death metal, I have a feeling you're going to definitely like it. And while you're at it, check out Vomit Rot. And if you're going to place an order from Transylvanian Recordings, you might as well also like make it a three-pack and get the uh, Live Sick. Live Sick, my fault. Uh, Solace in Worms release. This is the promo tape. And this is the Transylvanian Recordings version. This is some of the best U.S. black metal out right now. This, the new horns and hooves. Hopefully we get some new spite. There's some really good U.S. black metal right now. I haven't heard of the new holder yet, so that's why I didn't mention her name. Just because I haven't heard it yet. Somebody told me that, right? Uh, it's kind of boring, but I need to check it out myself because... I really liked, you know, the last release, so definitely looking forward to checking that out. But, um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Again, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.